so much. Seriously. I've went up 11 subscribers in the last 28 days. And we have uh, hit over 800 views in the last 28 days. That's, that's the best it's ever been. And I can't thank you guys enough for that. So, thank you so much. Seriously. You guys are the inspiration for me to keep making more. So, thank you. Alright, so, got the car all leveled out on jack stands. Okay, guys, I've got a few ideas here. It's from a couple of YouTube videos. After reading the uh, company's website for my lower control arms, uh, they recommend a two to four degree pinning angle, positive pinning angle. And right now we're at negative one. So I'm going to install these nice control arms I bought a while back. 
we'll set the pinion angle to two degrees to start and hopefully this helps a lot. Went and picked up a part for my dad's drag car. New rotor for his distributor. Next we're gonna go pick up some Mustang parts. Alright, so I did get a part for the Mustang here. And what we have here is a new window motor. The one in my car took a crap before winter and I just haven't fixed it yet. But I need to fix it. Got to be able to roll the windows up, and my car doesn't have manual motor or manual arms. Plus, it's convenient to have electric motor. You don't got to reach over and crank the window way up. So, I'll get this guy installed, and then we're going to install the control arms. I'm going to attempt to install the control arms with the car just on the jacks because I don't want to have to move this fox body. I can move it, but I don't want to. So, I'm gonna attempt to do what I can under there, but we'll see what happens. Looks to be original from what I can tell. I'm not sure what uh, door, I've, I don't know if that door is original to this car or not. Either way, it's probably pretty old, at least 20, 25 years, 30 years. Hopefully I can get this gear out with no problems. I don't imagine that it's supposed to be like this with all these broken pieces and I don't know if I can install it like this uh, obviously I'm gonna have to clean this up a little bit but this is clearly seen better days looks like I might have to get whatever a new whatever this piece is a gear set didn't know that the gear set was bad in this one, but apparently it is. One thing I want to test, maybe, once I get this kind of put together, is if this one turns still. That's going to be the question. If it was just jammed up because of this, or what the deal is. Let's see uh, if I can get this cleaned out real quick. Alright, so I got this piece all cleaned up. Any plastic pieces taken out. Got this cleaned up. All plastics taken out. So hopefully, I don't know. There was a bunch of plastic in here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, from the old one and the new one doesn't come with a new gear set and this goes inside there but I don't think it's supposed to do this no you're missing you're missing all the parts that were that I don't know all those pieces were just laying inside this like so much <laughs> I don't know you have to maybe no that should, that should just know, rotate around cool. inside of there I thought it just goes like that it's supposed to have a little bit of looseness so you can put it on the thing, right? Yeah. I don't know. But this is out of there? This, this white piece? This white piece is from the old one. The new one doesn't come with that stuff. Do I not have another one around? 
should put another window motor now. For a new edge, maybe, but I don't know if they're different. The, the, that worked before, or do you even know? Well, I don't know if this is why. The motor, I put power straight to it with a power probe, and it didn't do anything. That's what I'm saying. Can you just take the motor and put it on? But all I did was take this white piece from there to here. It was just full of this. Well, there must be something else in there. Crud. The teeth and everything still on it? Yeah. Still has teeth on it for the worm gear. I took that other window motor back because this motor does work. What happened, I think, is it got all jammed up with this plastic and it just was jammed up. Because I just tested it and it works. So I ended up buying, returned the motor and got a new gear set kit. Comes with grease and everything here. And all I gotta do is uh, clean this housing out real good. And then uh, install this gear kit. Much cheaper than the uh, window motor was. They wanted a lot of money for that window motor for it to not come with a new gear set. Let me get this, uh, let me get this housing cleaned out. All right, I got it all cleaned up inside there. Nice and clean. Now, let's get some, uh, let's get some grease in there. gear looks a little nicer than the factory one. You can see it's kind of thick here. I've never put one of these together so I'm not really sure how this is supposed to go together. Let me get a pick here. I thought one of these little ball things goes on the outside. Of course there's no uh, instructions with this so I just gotta kind of figure it out. See if the factory one fits in there. Let me watch a video on this. Okay, I went ahead and got this in off camera. Just takes a little bit of uh, pressure. It's kind of a tight fit, so. But I did get it in there. Okay, now we just need to install the cover. Just goes on there like so. And we can use our factory screw. That factory location. Okay, that's nice and snug now. Now we can reinstall the motor back into the car.
Window motor is installed. Now, let's test and see if the window rolls up or not. Oh, <laughs> helps if you plug it in. Let's try this again. Sweet. Awesome. Works good. For some reason my driver's one is not working now. It's not good. Yeah. Interesting. You fix one thing on these cars and another thing breaks. Is it unplugged? It is not unplugged. Interesting. We might have an issue with this motor now. Oh, now it's working. Oh yeah, it's working just fine. Sounds a little tight, might have to adjust something. Or lube, lube some of the gears on here or whatever. But, I'm happy about this one working. That's awesome. I'm very happy about that. Alright, we're just going to do one control arm at a time. I should be good to do the control arms on here. Now those bushings are not new, but they're not bad, so... I'm going to leave them for right now. Not sure what happened with the camera. Apparently it stopped recording. I'm not really sure when, but one upper control arm is in. Got the other side out. Now I'm working on putting the other side in.
Okay, so right now we're sitting at three degrees positive. Which is good. I can kind of see this is up at a slight angle. And this is down at a slight angle. We'll leave it at three degrees for now. Let me go get the proper wrench for this. Control arms are all in, tightened down, locked in, they're even, and the pinion angle is around three degrees, is what I've measured. These lower control arms that I have, the lift bars, south side machine, they recommend between two and four degree pinion angle, and I've already had those drilled and they're locked in, I don't want to move them, so we just uh, used adjustable uppers and got the pinion angle set in. It was incorrect before at a negative one pinning angle and it would just get worse as you put power down. So hopefully now it'll make a big improvement. One thing I need to do for sure, double check the front end alignment on this thing because it drives terrible with these with these tires on there. Pulls to the left real bad and everything else, but these tires are also junk on the front. It doesn't seem to sit much different or anything like that. It shouldn't. You just change you just change the pinning angle, so I should take it for a drive and see how it does. Just wanna say thank you guys for watching and appreciate all the support and the recent views. Someday I hope to make it big. Alright, that's going to be it for the video today, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.